Hello, hello. Welcome to Monday Night Live, guys. I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm like so tired I can sleep right now. But we're going to paint anyway. Alan's here with me. Hello, hello, hello. I think I'm going to sleep all day tomorrow. Maybe I'll just watch, lay in bed and watch movies. <laughs> Something. I would love to be sleeping all day. So, last week we did some blooming and some wood rounds. I don't know what order we did them in, so I'm not going to show them in any particular order. But we'll start with this one. No warping. They're fine. So these will get resined. I think what I'm going to do is paint the sides and resin the tops and maybe put them on a Lazy Susan spinner for kitchen tables so you can put like your napkin holder and salt and pepper shaker and stuff something different that I haven't done yet functional art functional art and then I have this one here I love the colors in this one I got one little spot there with a the white paint flicked so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I might be able to touch it up a little bit. Because I can't take it out. But I could do a border. Because I don't really care for this part either. So I could do a border around this. I'll figure something out. Then I have this beautiful one here. You're so pretty. It's amazing the colors that you use and the colors that you get when they're dry. And this one here. So they all turned out very well. I'm very happy with all of them. Now I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna put these. Thursday's stuff on the shelf, so I can't stick them on that shelf. There. They all have a little home, temporary home. Larry says stick one of your fancy new little butterflies over that spot. Yeah, could do that. Good idea, Larry. Genius. Vitamins. Heavy duty. <laughs> I could. If you want my name on top of it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, I still have a bunch of 12s. Like that we'll play with. Thursday we did a sandwich pour, uh, a boiler maker, and a reverse swipe. I had to remember that one. So I thought tonight we'll play a little bit more because I don't want to do it on Thursday night because we've already gone over those. So Thursday night we're going to start with ornaments. I'll show you how to tape them off. And we'll paint. 
because I'm going to have probably over 100 to do. So that will get started on Thursday and show you guys how I do them and we'll go from there. Did you tell them about the call you made to have you laugh? Okay. I kind of did. <laughs> so I kind of got an in at Hobby Lobby now. If I get the same girl if I call back, though. So I bought ornaments from there last year. And they're not in stock yet, but they have the same SKU. They're ordered. So there's 182,400 ornaments ordered. So I check it every day. As soon as they come in, I'm going to place my order. Now that I know how many they're getting, which helps. And you asked her, is there any limit? Yeah, and I asked her if there was a limit, and she said, no, I could order 182,400. <laughs> I won't need that many. <laughs> so that's cool. They probably have some in the store, but they're not the ones that I'm looking for. Um, the ones that I want are the ones that I bought last year. You get two in a package. And they're like a dollar seventy nine when they're on sale for two. I did order some from Michaels because I'm a little desperate to get some started. But they aren't gonna be here for probably a week or so. So Linda Seriani says I wouldn't go over hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, well <laughs> we'll see. Yes, Mona, we can see you. So I was cleaning out one of my drawers and I found these ceramic pendants that I bought years ago to paint on. And I've never painted them. So when I'm doing blooms, I'm going to start picking up and transferring stuff that I like onto those. But not when I'm just painting. I think it would be better with the blooms because it's house paint. So on Sunday, well before Sunday he says, Brian's going to have his mini sets up on Etsy. So he's going to do them like this, a set of three, I think for 15, if I'm correct. And then he's also going to do where you can get five of each, but you know, five drip cups or five of those double tulips or five of the mini tulip. Um, that way if you break one or if you melt one, you have a spare so you can do four tiles at one time. So he's going to have these up in his shop by Sunday. So check that out. Shelly has posted a link to Brian's Etsy. You guys should bookmark it if you want to get those. This mini drip cup is a blast. Just saying. So tonight I am going to do a marble pour, which I have never done. Never ever. You got marbles? No, I have I have these uh, bearing balls. <laughs> Suckers are heavy. 
So I'm going to use one of those. I bought two sizes because I didn't know how big they were when I bought them. So <laughs> these are the other ones. I could really hurt somebody with one of these. They weigh a lot. I have little marbles, but they're useless. Marble pour. Alan did a, a marble pour with them. It wasn't that great. Yeah, they're like four pounds, Brian. You know what, Brian? Now you're going to make me. I got to look. Out comes the scale. All right, so. I gotta change the unit to ounces and stuff. Okay. Stay. Eight ounces. That's a half a pound. Alan Duck. <laughs> Damaging. You see which way that marble was rolling? Yeah. And we have leveled this table how many times? That's two and a half. That's better. Colleen must have just joined us. She says she's lost. Oh, we were weighing my, my uh, bearing balls. I don't have marbles, so we're using bearings. <clears throat> there we go. It's just a little bit too close to the paper for me. Yeah, this will probably hit the floor, and it's going to maybe dent my concrete. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to put a base coat down because I want the paint to... Um, move and I just stuck this to the spinner didn't I? I wonder what would happen if we did nothing. It's not going to move. Alright so we'll unstick this one and we'll save that for later. Okay so I think I'm going to use silicone and we're going to do like a straight pour, but I want to try to get a little bit of fingerling in there. Um, I'm not going to use silicone. I'm just going to use regular mix. I definitely want to use gold brush. Let's use Mona's Shimmering Eggplant. And let's put some knockoff in there. This is my version of Art Mind's knockout. And I need a contrast, I need a blue. Let's go with Moody Blue Shimmer. Mm. Let's go with Galaxy Blue instead. It's a little bluer. What'd you say, babe? I said it's a little too dark. The moody, blue? the moody blue, yeah, because it dries super dark. The galaxy doesn't dry too bad. I mean, it does have a lot of blue in it. And I think I want to put some champagne shimmer in there, just a little bit. So we're going to go with five colors. So I do line my bottles, as most of you know now, with uh, Ziploc baggies five by twelves and then in my smaller bottles I use the I think they're three by 
They might be 12s, but I get them on Amazon. They've been working pretty good. I haven't had a bottle yet that I couldn't squeeze, but my bottles aren't super empty yet either. Hello, Joanne. Hello, everyone that I didn't say hello to. Glad you could join us tonight. Shelly just posted a link for the baggies. If you want to line your bottles. I know most people mix as they pour. So they just use cups. And that's good, too. And knock off. When I get this painting done, I'll show you my jewelry box up close that we did our collab on yesterday on Saturday. Gonna be making more. I definitely want to do the West Sea one. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Let's start with Mo's shimmering eggplant. And I think I'll do the knockoff on top of that because that should give us a pretty violet interference on top of it. And then we'll go <clears throat> with Gold Rush. I'm going to try to get two layers in here. SJ wants to know how the counter project is developing. Still researching? Yeah. Galaxy Blue. So we got all the shoe molding done in the kitchen yesterday. Was it yesterday or Saturday? Gosh, I don't remember what day we worked on things. Saturday. Saturday. Was it after we took the dogs to the groomer? Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to do one light round of these. Oh, so. that, that was for Christina Baker. Oh. Vic's here and she's going to bed. Night, Vic. Thanks for letting us know that you were going to bed. <laughs> she said she'll watch the replay tomorrow. She's not feeling good. No, she's not. Sorry to hear that, Christina. She said her mom passed away two weeks ago. Yeah. That's hard. colors. I didn't start with a puddle. fingerlings by going up and down instead of side to side. No ring. Okay. Let me give it a torch with the air bubbles first. So when the Seriani was the Ziplocs work better than the baby bottle of lamp. Um, I haven't used the baby bottle liners, so I can't really tell you. I think Shelly tried the baby bottle liners. Yeah, right, Shelly? Three times. Baby bottle liners? I'm so tired, I'm surprised I said that. Maybe it's the weather getting me down. Uh, I felt really sad today for some reason. So 
I'm just stretching it out a little bit because it'll help me see where I want to go with that marble. With that ball bearing. <laughs> Okay, let's place it here in the eggplant. I'm going to turn my canvas. some interest. Ooh, I almost lost it. <laughs> Don't throw it at me. Alright. That's enough interest. Don't want to overdo it. Wipe this ball bearing off. This is kind of like an extra sketch. Kinda. Okay, let's tilt it. Let's see what we get. I want to see where my paint was at. It's well down here in this corner. I'm going the opposite direction. down here to move that eggplant down in this corner because I'm really digging the top part. But I don't want to take all the eggplant off. Okay. Now we'll come down here. And I'm allowed to hate this because it's my first one I've ever done. So if I don't like it, I can say that. <laughs> I'm allowed. Okay. I'm going to stretch it back this way a little bit. I need to balance it. I see a face in the bottom left hand corner with a very long I see it too. Tongue. I see it. I love this side. Let me stretch Thank you, this. Nate. Thank you, Nate. I appreciate you. You're awesome. shimmering eggplant so much that we sent her that she's ordering a bunch more colors. Oh, Bonnie's order went out today, didn't it? Is that her order? Yeah, I think so. The seven? Yeah. Well, six jars, I think. You see a chicken? Who sees a chicken?
chicken feathers. See Brian's coming? Looks like the ocean where some sharks got someone. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Colors are pretty though. I really love this mix of color right here. Let me wipe off the bottom here and I'll show you up close. I can't wait to see how that um, knockoff is going to be when it's dry because it's intertwined with a lot of color here. I did. I really did. Because it was you could feel where you were going. But you have to be careful because you can't tilt too far because it will roll right off. But I did like the bearing. So you might do another one of those someday. Someday. A couple people are saying that they like those sharp lines. Yeah, I like the lines. That's not so much from the marble. No, that's the way I layered the cup. It's the way we layer the cup. I have nothing pretty here. Brian wants to know, was that the big one or the little one? That was the little one, Brian. It is a uh, one inch. I got them on Amazon. I'd send you one, but you know they weigh so much. <laughs> Shipping would be crazy. <laughs> Just kidding. Now it's less pretty than marble. I'm about to get some of the fried I am. I haven't been out of the house, guys, except to take the dogs to the groomer. I don't know what it's like to go shopping anymore. I shop online. Exactly. That's the only way I know how to shop now. <laughs> All right, let me grab my box here and you guys can see it. So if you missed the collaboration train we had going, this is my box. It does have flaws. Um, my resin did seep here. It did seep here, but I touched it up before I resined it. And I fixed it here. But other than that, I could kind of cover with the lines. And then on the inside, I have a, you know, it's not perfect. I didn't want to break this and try to move it because then I was afraid I would break the whole board. So I left it the way it was, worked with it the way it was. Um, I did have some seepage because I did not seal my edges with glue like Shelly did, smart Shelly. I did use um, an opaque dye so you can't see through it. It's pretty on the back side too. But you can't see the black compartment that way. So I had fun making this. I'm going to make more. This is our, we all tried, this was our first time, all of us, making one of these. So, I think we did phenomenal. Even Brian did a great job, even though he says he didn't. I think he did. So, I have one giveaway tonight. Tonight's giveaway is Moe's Shimmering Spruce. Moderators can't play. And if you've won in the past 30 days, please let someone else have a chance. Alan's going to give me a number. Don't start until I say go. But if it's your first time here, our contest runs by picking a number between 1 and 50 when I say go but I didn't say go yet 
I'll pay the shipping if you live in the United States. If you live outside of the United States, you can still play, but you have to pay the shipping. Okay, Alan gave me a number. So if everybody's ready, on your mark, get set, go. Have a winner. Stop, please. Number was. Go back and verify before I tell. Yeah. Was it? Okay. So our winner is Sue Johnson with number nine. Congratulations, Sue. Congrats, Susan. I will get this out in the mail to you when I feel like it. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I'm terrible about mailing stuff out lately. It's like if I don't have packages that need to go to the post office, I say it can wait, it can wait, it can wait. <laughs> My bad. So we are going to try another one, not a marble, another 12 by 12. So we're going to try Brian's double tulip. We're going to go this way. <coughs> that way you guys can see the pattern that it creates. Even the mini creates a pattern. And then after we get it poured, then I can spin it. Oh, believe me, Susan's... Susan will use that color. She's been playing with it quite a bit. Brian wants to know. <laughs> the only reason I say mods can't play is because you guys are here every week. And I already send you a jar. Yeah, right, so you can tell your husband that, yeah, I get it. <laughs> so I want to play with this toy on a black background. I haven't done that yet. Brian's making fun of you. Brian's going to get pinched. It's so hard. are hilarious. You want a jar of mods shimmering spruce? What the heck is that? I think they said you said Moe's shimmering spruce. Did I? I don't know. I, I thought I said that. Moe's shimmering eggplant shimmer. All right, you guys, don't make fun of me. I'm tired. Leave me alone. Quit picking at her. Stop picking on me. I'm already halfway in tears. Don't make me upset. <laughs> Can't you be nice? <laughs> I'm telling my mom. <laughs> she will, too. I'll tell Vic. She's probably gone now, but I'll tell her. Don't get Vic mad at you. Need a little bit in that corner down there. Okay. 
Alright, here we go. I'm dealing with black paint. Sorry. Okay. So I definitely want to use some metallics because I think that'll be super pretty. And I don't want to use silicone. Brian's going to start not watching me because I don't use that much silicone anymore. What do you mean no silicone? Let's throw, uh -huh. I'm changing my mind. Let's go Juniper. We haven't used Juniper in a bit. And then I can use um, Maria's Shimmering Spruce, but I'm not gonna. So that would just make it too easy for Brian. Okay, let's Juniper, champagne. Um, wow, I've never stumped on color palette. This one's got me stumped. All right, let's do let's do the beach retreat 2021 because it's more on the blue side. I just wonder if I get enough contrast though. Okay, let's switch. Nope, can't switch. All right, let's go for it. in the mail. Okay. So I'm going to go backwards starting because I don't want that juniper to be my first color out. I want the chestnut browns. So with this toy, I like to go this way, back and forth, because I like the paint mostly to be on the sides. If you just pour in the middle, you get nothing on the side. retreat next to that. Champagne. And juniper. a very popular color. Well, I should say it goes in runs. Like, I'll have like five colors. It's all the time. And then all of a sudden it's five different colors. So I go and I look on YouTube at some of the artists that use my paints to see what color palettes they're doing. But sometimes it's not. And I'm like, well, why is everybody ordering that color all of a sudden? The spurts. So what was that first color? Chestnut bronze. 
So with this toy, you get a really cool effect underneath. I'm going to switch it around so that we move out. Because my table apparently is not level, Alan. I think I'm going to go one more round. I would have used our new beach retreat, but it's a little too soft with the juniper. I needed more blue for contrast. going to end with chestnut. air bubbles real quick. I am going to poof this off with my airbrush. Or you can use a straw. this toy too many, I think maybe three times I've done this. I like it on an oval canvas. It's pretty cool on an oval. Okay, so I'm going to suck some of that black paint out because I want more color in there. that can be your best friend. Or, if you're doing resin, it can be your worst enemy. <laughs> right, Brian? <laughs> I know it was mine. I was like, hello, skewer. for thinking that. <laughs> I 
I appreciate that. Give it a little bit of interest. Okay. So now I'm going to pull one out here. I was going to pull it in, but I decided to pull it out. And I just screwed that one up. But a lot of this paint's going to go off when we spin it. But I want to pull these in now because it's going to cause too much um, unbalance. this so I don't hit that jewelry box. <laughs> yeah, that no, that wouldn't be good. You don't want a bin, huh? I can't. Square bin. That's... I need a square bin. A bigger bin. A bigger tub. Okay, I've got one on me. Alright, guys. I think I'm gonna give it a little help here. Because I don't want to end up spinning too much color off. A lot of people say to me, why do you have to spin it after you pour it? It looks pretty. Why do you have to spin it? Because right now, I have about a quarter of an inch of paint in there. Not even a quarter of an inch, but I'm not exaggerating. But you can't leave that much paint. If I left this how it is right now, all of this would crack in the middle. It's just too thick. There's a point where you have to say, I gotta get some of that off of there. A little Lori, glad you could join us. And I don't mind if the outside petals go over, because I'm just looking for color. I'm gonna hit them oh, corner. corners before I spin it again. One spot here. It hasn't gone over yet. So give it a little help. Hello Mary Ellen. Glad to be joining us. My 80s. Okay. Looks like it's going that way, doesn't it? Brian's had a good point. Spinning looks better to get paint on it. It keeps the image better than the tilting. Right. Gee, Brian, where'd you learn that from? Experience. Well, that's crazy, isn't it? Like one more, because I have to. light one. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. I appreciate you. You're awesome. When you were spinning that, it looked like uh, Jason's mask from Halloween. Don't say that. 
because of the way the middle is or something? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Don't scream at me. I'm just running a skewer through. Just was too much. Um, I am like at a loss for words tonight. I was too disconnected. Buy a vowel. Give me a consonant. <laughs> Get the worst of this off. Well, I'm sorry, is that psychedelic? It, it is. is. so pretty. The uh, chestnut bronze really came out to play. It's going to be very shiny when it dries. Got Joanne, she's gonna have to play with hers. Mary Stanford says, looks like a quilt pattern. It's like little tulips. It's the little tulips. So this is the big double tulip cup. The little one you could use on a 12 by 12 canvas too. But Brian designed the small ones for tiles. Missy, Missy. Where's my bucket? Over there? Yes. Ooh. I probably made a mess, didn't I? No. I threw it. That splashed straight now. That would never happen again. So we'll take our top up there. I always check my bottom, make sure it's not covered in black paint, white paint. It's reusable. Okay. Any suggestions what you guys want to see next? I got one more canvas. What haven't we done in a while? Injection for I did that a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Now's your chance. Sharing, she's eating it by herself. Oh, I got a recipe for chocolate zucchini bread that I wanted to try. I even bought the uh, instant de instant coffee. And I didn't have any zucchini and I only got one. <laughs> it's okay, I got my second plan again. Let's see what that yields. So, nobody said anything. So you're going to just let me throw something on canvas, huh? Okay. Starburst, Brian says. Brian? Gee, how much? Don't ever ask Brian because he'll say Starburst. Gary says, look up. do something with cells. I want to use something, some silicone paint, so. Otherwise, they just sit on the shelf now. I used to have the big bottles with the silicone, and now I got the little bottles with the silicone. Nate says, make an iris. Could swipe something. This is open cup. Donna says, ribbon pour sounds good. We could do an intermingling flip cup. Let's do that. It's a small canvas, but we could still do it. 
I can use little cups. We got little cups. I'll do three though, because three makes it more fun. Of course, Joanne wants a bloom. <laughs> We'll be blooming like crazy starting Thursday, Joanne. Christmas ornament season. So that's going to be fun because I'll make hundreds this year probably. Somebody's got to come resin them all though. Didn't, didn't you say 184,800? 182,400. <laughs> okay. So I still have these interference colors mixed. I haven't used them up. So I have violet, green, blue, magenta, and turquoise. I gotta see um, what the consistency is though. Oh, they're good. They're good to use. Okay, so this one's turquoise. Let's definitely use that. Gotta put it on the lid or I'll forget what color it is. Right, Joanne? <laughs> okay, so then we'll do some interference blue. Now that one's a little thinner. Let me have to skip this one. Um, I don't have any gel media. Wait a minute, yes, I do. So, if you open one of your paints, let's say you have all your colors picked out, one of your paints is too thin, get yourself some gel medium. This is silica. So, take a spoonful like that, dump it in your paint. Now, it takes a minute for this to thicken because it's silica. So you don't know if you need more yet. I hate getting that stuff on me. Brian says use them rings. It's too small of a canvas, Brian. Come on, dude. Be for real. All right, we'll let this one set for a minute, see if it gets thicker. Bonnie wants to know, what, what is that you? Gel gloss. Me. Ooh! Sorry. That's my fault, so I put the lid on it. <laughs> you guys all laughing? Because I am. <laughs> Doesn't hurt it at all. It's a product. It's not going to do anything to upset my painting. Slappiness. Okay. Are they still laughing at me? <laughs> Somebody laugh because I could start crying here in a minute. <laughs> My hands are all sticky now. It's a couple of people chuckling. Thank you, Denise. And Joanne. And Susan. And Brian. Alright. Let me put my klutziness over here. So anyway, it was gel gloss. <laughs> that one is the Soho brand. There's all different brands out there that you can use. They all work pretty much the same. Tidy. <laughs> Susan, if you don't know me by now, you don't know me. Alright, let's try the violet. Oh no, it's thin. <laughs> oh no, it's thin. Let's see if I can use some out of the, the cap. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
I remember kind of from Sue earlier, she was saying that her paintings look like a murder scene. Now her painting area probably does. set. Let's check this one. Oh, it's sticky. It's a little better. It needs a little bit more. Okay. Now I'll be opening these tomorrow and they'll be like super thick. Alright, so now I need a color because I like to do, when I do an interference like this, I like a color that is one of these colors. So I have turquoise, I have blue, and I have violet. So what I think I'm gonna to do is use, since I'm using black, hmm, let's do, let's do the Beach Retreat Shimmer from this year, but I want it with silicone. Brian popping off to Joanne about. Oh, because he's blaming Joanne for your spill. Oh. It's your fault, Brian. <laughs> you don't have to explain yourself to Brian, Joanne. He's probably picking mostly. He's good at that. Okay. So every time that I use the turquoise, <laughs> it's okay, Brian. I'm going to use the Beach Retreat Shimmer with it. Alright. Oh, we are going to use black between each color, but just a little bit. I am going to start with black. We don't need a ton of paint for this canvas. Alright, let's start with the turquoise. Say hello to the Messy Art Studio. Hey guys, thanks for coming. going to do an intermingling flip cup with interference colors. So next we'll use the Beach Retreat Shimmer. This does have silicone. Okay, so then we're going to go back to the black. And Ellie's going to bark. She's out on the porch. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to take our blue, it's all nice and thick now, we're going to add that on top of that black, so here's where you can add a blue or you can go back to the black. Because I already used one color, that's all I want to see besides the interference. So I'm going back to the black. Okay, now we're going to add our violet. Let me 
Yes, that, that, that was a puppy you heard. Yeah, that's Ellie. She's outside with, well, actually, they're both outside with my son on the porch. Okay, and I'm going back to the black. Maybe. <laughs> All right, so I have about six and a half, seven ounces of paint between those three cups. That's all I need to cover that canvas. So we are golden there. I'm not going to swirl these cups because we're going to intermingle. They're going to get enough swirls on their own. Clean as you go. Pro tip. <laughs> okay. So go on in there. Okay. Got some cool stuff going on in there. We are going to get cells. Remember, we have silicone. Just gonna stagger them. Now these are plastic cups, so poking a hole is not gonna be fun. Is it, Alan? Let me get my big, my big dude. So oh, pretty. All right, I'm gonna turn it this way because I'm gonna intermingle these two, and I'll turn it intermingle. They're not rising, which is good. Gives me a little time. I'm going to place this cup here because I'm going to save that. I'm going to bring this one around. Try to place some color there. Switch these guys. Take my color to the corners. That one had a lot left. That's okay. We're going this way first anyway, so. Ooh, pretty. Alright, let me torch it. Now we need to cover the bare spots where we scraped our cups. I'm going to get that first. That one over here. So I'm going to just start coming this way. You can see those interference colors coming. Wait till you see this dry next week, guys. They're liking it. That beach retreat shimmer was a good. Um, pigment to stick in there with that. And I do like it with the cells. I think if we wouldn't have used silicone, it would have been just a little bit boring. Alright, let's get this guy here without losing some of that. I just want to roll it off the canvas. that side. Alright. So that's going to be really pretty with those interference colors dry. Yeah. Super pretty. Alright, let's get this corner. Leave it right there. We got something here with branches off. 
I see a dolphin. You see a dolphin? Mm -hmm. That little guy there? Dolphin in the center. Oh, yeah. I see that a little bit. Get my sides clean off. I can bring it up and show you the interference colors. So we have three in there. I want to torch it first, though. Seal. Get your pareidolia going. What do you see? Thanks, Brian. It is now. It is now. He thinks he's Mr. Webster. I'm still on job cleanup, guys. Um, bear bear with me for a second. Carrie says on the right side, the slot from Ice Age. Yep. <laughs> I did like that movie, too. Good night, Sherry. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Sherry. S. Chase is a baby elephant bottom left corner going off the canvas. Yeah. Here, will this help you better? See the dolphin? Alright, I think I got the gel cleaned up. Sloppy me. It's just super sticky as it dries. Baby elephant. Right here. His ear. Well, it looks like a dolphin to me because of the long snout. Maybe it's a poipus. It's a sea creature. And this looks like a bubble cup. You can try this, Brian. I think you'd do good with it. All right, so let's do it a little tilt. See all the interference? Wait till next week when you see this dry. Hello, Gail. We've done these time. before with the interference. I've done videos with them, but you guys never see the dry results when you do a video. <laughs> Unless I have time to film it before I upload. But that was fun. So there's another technique you guys can try. So we've done six in less than a week of different things you guys can try. guys, we're going to wrap it up because I have more canvases prepped. I'm super tired. I'm not going to sit on my butt tomorrow and nail shoe molding in. It's not fun. Sleep in? I'm going to sleep in a little bit, yeah. Maybe. If the dogs let me. So, Finny got his first haircut Saturday. He looks so cute, but I can't show him to you because he'll get paint all over him. But I will try to get a picture and put it in one of my next videos. He's all soft and fluffy like Ellie now. He doesn't have his wiry hair anymore. 
but he, uh, she's going to be coming into heat, and he's practicing, so we'll probably have puppies for Christmas. Yay. One and done. I think. <laughs> I say that. Thank you, Rochelle. Thank you, Rochelle. I appreciate you. You're awesome. So don't forget Thursday night, we're going to be starting our blooming ornaments. Um, come in, see how I take them off. We'll talk about that stuff. Um, I do want to talk about something else with blooming on Thursday. So it's just a safety precaution that I think is what was bothering me. So I'll talk about that too. And I get a lot of questions as to why I use blow dryers and gadgets to blow my blooms out. There's a reason. So, have yourselves a great week. I will see you Thursday. And then, uh, I hope Mona will have a premiere Thursday night. Okay. Okay. Well, have a wonderful evening, everyone. Bye, guys.